Hi everyone, I'm here with the haul video. I'm dedicating this video to Lindsay at Let Georgia Papery since she commented on my blog many moons ago about the fact that I haven't crafted in a while. So after I do this video, I'll actually get back to crafting. I've had a really busy last few months with my job and with wedding planning, so it'll be nice to actually just relax and go back to what I love to do. Okay, the first thing that I bought recently was actually 17 packs of eyelets. There are 50 per pack and they were on clearance at AC Moore. So you see there are the dollar stickers on it, but they were actually only 25 cents. So I thought that was pretty cool that each eyelet is only going to be uh, half a cent. Um, I got, let's see, these colors, um, like a reddish, a green, the silver and the packs, but it was mainly white. And it's because with the white, I want to do something for uh, wedding favors for Howard and Howard's and my wedding, is that correct? However, for our wedding, how about that? Um, in the past few months, I also bought a lot of punches. Actually, the first punch that I bought was this one. It's the Fiskars one. Um, I'm terrible because I don't actually know the names of them, and I don't have the packages, and I didn't look them up. Um, yeah, I can't even try to remember what this, what this was called. But this is the first one that I wanted. I bought a base one with the coupon. And then this is another one that I bought. If I like that it, it's much different than this one because this has a sweet look to it and this is very intricate. Then I also went and got um, Martha Stewart punches. So this one I liked because it was a little bit, um, not harsher, but you know, not with the soft curves. The little dots actually punch out, so that's pretty cool. And um, this one. It's actually, for some reason in my mind, it, it reminds me a little bit of this one, but you can see they're completely different. This is obviously the scalloped circles with the dots in them. Again, I don't actually know the names and I, I can't actually tell you what they are, but I'm sure that you could just Google them to find the reference. Another punch that I got was a corner punch. This is the Fiskars corner punch. Um, I really liked this one mainly because sometimes you want to add something special, but maybe you don't really want to put the whole punch at the bottom. So I got this one. And I also got a puncher on the page, and this is a newer one. And yes, I can tell you the name of it because, as you see, it's still in the box. It's called Ribbon Loop. Ribbon Loop. I did actually try it out, but I put it back in the box because it looks so nice and neat. Um, and I like that, you know, I can do the whole entire page. So for a while, I was actually going to get a lot of the puncher on the pages, but I, I, I like any punches, really. So right now I have five, and I think I'm going to stop buying punches since I actually haven't done any projects with punches yet. I've just started punching random pieces of paper as a stress relief. Case, okay, so another thing that I bought recently was, um, I need black ink, the black ink pad that I had that I've had since, I don't know, when I was much, much younger. So I did buy an Inka Dinka Do one. Um, the ink wasn't as strong as I would have liked it to be. So I actually went out and bought another one that I haven't actually used yet. It's the stays on. And I did a lot of research and I looked up, you know, what was actually a very, very dark black ink when I stamp on the sentiment. So I'm hoping this is going to live up to the reviews that I read. Um, another thing that I bought was this. It's the In Stitches Basil? Basil? I don't really know how to pronounce it. I'm going to guess Basil. Um, the Silly Stitches template. This was also on clearance at Eastmore. This was bought a while ago. And the reason for this is because at Oriental Trading, I purchased one of those um, punch things with the, the needle that punches into the cardstock that you actually sew. So I thought it'd be nice to actually have these patterns so I could punch the holes and then sew it there. Um, this caught my interest, on, you know, the thing on Oriental Trading caught my interest because I know that on the Cricut message board, everyone really got into the So Easy product, and I'm not about to spend a lot of money on that. Um, let's see what else. I did buy new cartridges, which is funny because, again, I haven't really been crafting much, but there was a sale at Custom Crops. Um, they were either $20 or $16, and none of them were more than 20 so the Boys Will Be Boys is one that I, I really liked because it has all the cutesy images. And I do need to be able to make cards for boys. Not that you can't use the other cartridges for boy cards. But this just seemed to work out because of, you know, like the robot without actually buying the robot's cartridge, all the, the vehicles and so on and so forth. Um, birthday Bash is one that I also really thought was cute. Um, obviously birthday cards are ones that you make most often. And I like that this actually has a buffalo on skates. If you know me, I'm terrified of buffalo, so I thought it'd be pretty ironic if I made buffalo cards. And last one, which I actually didn't open yet, is Nifty Fifties. When I first saw this, I knew for a fact that I would eventually get it, and I'm glad that I waited and bought it only for $20. Or maybe... 
I don't know. This might have been the one that was 16. I don't remember the prices exactly. But um, I think that I was born in the wrong decade because I love the 50s. Let's see. I went to Michael's another day with my fiance. And we actually found that they had a whole Martha Stewart section now. I don't believe that it was always there, but they do have a separate little area for her products. So I was happy to see that they had these jars. So there are two, the 1.5 ounce ones. There are two of them. Um, this one is the, I know it's blurry in the video. I didn't focus properly. Um, the tourmaline, tourmaline, and then the peridot, mainly because these are our colors. So I will be using these either in the favors or play setting cards or whatever it is for the wedding. The last thing, that I bought recently that I still haven't taken out of the package because I like how it actually looks in the package is the corner chomper because again for wedding favors I will be using it or the thank you cards and I already have something in mind so that's why I did buy a lot of these things uh, recently. Um, I do want to show you something and again I because it's not focused you might not be able to see it but let's see. No you can't really see it but here it does say open corner guides completely. C-O-M-P-L-E-T-L-Y, they didn't spell out completely. And then over on this side, number three, compress, and then empty waste receptacle, R-E-C-E-P-T-I-C-A-L. Um, they should probably fix that. Um, I thought it was pretty funny that they had errors on the packaging of a product that a lot of people have. I'm curious to know if people actually noticed it or if they just opened it and, you know, didn't even bother looking at it since there are, of course, ton and, tons and tons and tons of videos to use these things. Um, I think that's about it in terms of what I bought recently. Um, let's see. I did buy these. I don't believe I actually put these in the video. I, put, I got some bling to use in flowers. And I do actually have a lot of things that I got from Oriental Trading months and months ago that I never wrote about or um, videoed. So that'll be maybe in a future um, haul video. The last thing is, this is an old, old eyelet setter. The Making Memories eyelet setter. Since... I'll be using um, eyelets for our wedding favors. I am actually going to go this week to AC Moore and get the crop dial with a 50% off coupon. Otherwise, I'd have to use this. And if you don't know, this is actually very, very loud. Yeah, I can't do that for every single favor. So I will have to get a new one. All right, that's about it for the haul video. You can actually see that I'm on a new table. It's not the same table that I had beforehand. So I'm actually very excited for that. Um, all right, time to start crafting. Bye.